A new champion has been crowned. WWE Speed. Since the last we've seen of the Ricochet, is he on to other pastures? Possibly AEW. A little Will Ospreay. Remember, we've got a couple things going on here to catch us up this week. We've got WWE Speed matches. Regular matches are three minutes in length. As a reminder, WWE Championship matches will be five minutes, and we got a lot to cover. Let's get in. I'm your host, Brian, the hype. Ballard. And we got match number one on WWE Speed, just to catch us up, this is the number one contenders tournament. And that is none other than Andrade and Tommaso Ciampa. The bell rings and the two get a lockup. Ciampa gets the advantage with a headlock and he reverses it. Andrade gaining control of the right arm into a hammerlock, into the ropes. And we get a referee breakup that ends in a shoving match between the two contestants. Trading chest chops between the two once again. Andrade getting the better of the exchange at the two minute mark in this one. Ciampa up and goes for the fairy tale ending that has served him so well in the past weeks, but it's reversed and the two are standing and trading elbows in the face right in the middle of the ring. Andrade makes a move to hit the ropes. Ciampa's there to meet him with a boot to the face. Ciampa runs and hits the ropes in a back elbow and Andrade connects on the rebound and Andrade hits his finisher, The Message, a double underhook neck breaker, and it's a three count. At the one minute and eight seconds left, your winner, Andrade Cianomas. Which means we will now get a championship matchup with Andrade versus Ricochet. Championship match again, five minutes in length, kicks off with Andrade rushing at his opponent with a boot. A lot of rushing from Andrade in this matchup, trying to get the offense. He misses setting up a spinning back elbow that leads to a quick two count right in the beginning. Follow up with a, his father-in-law's footsteps. Andrade slaps the figure four leg lock on the champ, and we get a rope break for that one. Andrade charging to Ricochet in the corner, misses again with the charge, and hits a big running knee and flips over the top to the outside. Ricochet, Keep your eye on the sky as he flies over the top rope and connects and tosses Andrade inside, following a top rope jump into a clothesline. Back in the ring at the four minute mark of this one. Ricochet hits the senton off the ropes and we get a one and a two. Ricochet hits about six elbows and then Andrade changes the momentum with a kick. Ricochet hanging between the ropes and Andrade hit with a DDT on the apron, ouch. Back in the ring, we get Andrade following up with a top turnbuckle crossbody for a one and a two at the three minute mark left in this matchup. Andrade slows the pace, relaxes and rests almost 30 seconds and attempts for a double underhook, but the two end up trading elbows instead to the chest in a woo moment for Ric Flair. This leads to kicks, uh, jump and inseguri by Ricochet at the two minute mark left in the matchup and both men are down. Andrade, what is going to happen? Charges and misses just like he does throughout the whole match, but follows up with a rough hip toss into the corner turnbuckle. Andrade rallies, goes running, corner to corner, all the way almost coast to coast, and a double knees on Ricochet, finally connects, and he hits the double underhook neck breaker. That is the message. One, two, and three. Count for the new champion is crowned, and that is Andrade Seeing almost a lot of back and forth action here. This matchup was set up with a lot of corner rushing for the final pin attempt in the end. But ultimately, we are going to look at what we get here next. We have a new champion, the second crowning champion in WWE history for WWE Speed. But that actually means a little bit more for what is next. And I am believing that we will get Ricochet exiting the company and being written off TV hard, possibly going on to AEW to feud with the likes of Will Ospreay among others. And I do want to let you guys know, we'll be looking at that on Wrestling Fans Inside later this week about what it could mean for Ricochet and overall what we're going to see in the future there. But let's talk about the now. Andrade is your champion. And what can he do to make this championship special? Ricochet was the inaugural champion for speed and a great one at that. But I like to think, and I'm begging, there's got to be more than just number one contenders matches. Let's get some 
you know, backups to decide that. Let's get some gauntlet matches, maybe a speed battle royal. Not quite sure. I'm just throwing ideas out there. Let me know what yours are in the comments down below. And that is everything. And we're all up to date on WWE Speed. I'm out.